We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch and Araya Berry Monarch and Angela Stokes Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And today is Wednesday. Wild Product Wednesday. Woo! It's been a while since we've done a Wild Product Wednesday, and it's actually Wednesday. It is literally Wednesday. And the thing that we're going to be talking about today is raw peeling nut butter. Now, this isn't no normal peeling nut butter, trust me, or some sort of normal nut butter. I've been extremely excited to share this. So So, over the last many months, every once in a while, we talk about peeling nut chocolate, which doesn't have cacao in it. Now, me and Angela, we don't eat cacao, raw cacao or anything, because we're pretty sensitive with our extreme di diets, and we're up for like, how many days? Three days, like buzzing, and then the come down's pretty hard for us. So, we discovered by accident, taking peeling nuts, peeling nuts, we put them in the freezer and they tasted almost like chocolate consistency and then we put them in the stone grinder and then made chocolate out of it by putting it in the refrigerator when we were done. And it became, it was ridiculously yummy because it was like the chocolate color. We added mesquite to it or some other sweetener and um, it worked amazing. And we didn't really talk about it much because it's really expensive to get a stone grinder. And, uh, you know, people can really do much with the peeling nut. You can't, you could can blend it, but it's not the same. However, now, do, do, do. we've got stone ground peeling nut butter in a jar. And check this out. It even comes with, it has coconut sugar in it. The one that's crystallized, like the, the best sweetener in the world. Low glycemic all in here so all you have to do is what do i do with it take a chocolate mold like this open the peeling nut butter with sweetener pour it in here put it in the refrigerator and you've got raw peeling nut chocolate without chalk cacao just eat it straight out of the jar that's what angela's been talking about but i'm so excited about making people making their own raw peeling nut chocolate so, um, let's mess around with this, but, okay, I'm going to stir this up, and in the meantime, check out this clip of some peeling nut concoctions that we've done in the past. And here is an example of some peeling nut chocolate creations that we have made. Check it out. As you can see, we've made a couple pies, and this is the bad boy we're about to have right now. And then also, you can just get chocolate molds and make peeling, this is all peeling of chocolate, no cacao whatsoever. We use mesquite as a sweetener. And we do different things for every one. In this one, we put coconut in it, so it's like macaroons. We've also done sesame seeds all mixed in instead of this, like in their whole form to where it almost tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. It, just, it was inundated with sesame seeds. It was just awesome. And you, yeah, you just simply put it in the freezer and then when you're done, you can put it in the refrigerator. And that's it. So right now, we are about to have a slice of this ridiculous peeling nut chocolate cake. It tastes just like chocolate and there's zero chocolate in it whatsoever. Yummers? Yeah. All right, let's cut the cake. And here we go. Check it out, everybody. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, wow. it's like tiramisu. 
<laughs> Tiramisu consistency. Look at this. Peeling nut chocolate cake. It's amazing. Okay, so and everybody, Angela is stirring right now. And I have the beautiful, perfect, pretty princess. Orion. In my hands. <laughs> okay, everybody. So now check this out. The peeling nut butter for six ounces is fourteen ninety five, and it's fourteen ninety five for six ounces of peeling nut butter with coconut sap in it. Now. Two ounces of raw chocolate generally cost nine dollars. So this is actually less expensive. And what we what we do sometimes, um, you could add like almond butter to it to bring the cost down. She thinks it's ridiculous. And bulk it up. And bulk it up. Also, what I've done is I've taken whole sesame seeds and stirred it in like a lot. It almost like doubles the or triples the amount of peeling nut butter in there. So you're getting like it at a ridiculously low price, and when you add the whole sesame seeds in there, it's almost like a Rice Krispie treat. So good. Right out of the freezer. All right, so we stirred it out. Ding, ding, ding. Do I get to try it now? Absolutely. Um, it's so good. Can I just show them the concept of putting it in the things? Oh, Raya's got it. It's our eyes now. When something's hers, we don't take it away. Okay. Peeling nuts, by the way, come from Polynesia. They're kind of rare. That's why they're so expensive. And they're really, really high in vitamin E and all kinds of other nutrients. And I've been eating them pretty much every day while pregnant with Araya and since. And I think that's maybe one of the reasons why she got my skin. Oh, the dog, you Very high in vitamin E. All right, can I try it? Yes. This is like total liquid right now. Because he warmed it up. In the dehydrator. You could just have it at room temperature. It might it'll probably turn into liquid. And then in a the fridge, it turns solid. It's amazing. Like chocolate consistency. They're so good. Peeling nuts are just amazing. If you don't want to be eating chocolate, worth a cow, this is the way. In a jar now. And you can make your own chocolate. You just put it in this thing that Araya's got. There you go. Throw it in the refrigerator, and then you got little chocolate pieces. We already showed you some in that clip. We showed you our peeling nut cake. Peeling nut cake is ridiculous. It's all ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, we're excited about it. Very excited. Make your own peeling nut chocolate without cacao. And it already has the sweetener in it. It's a miracle. And you could bulk it up to make it even less expensive. Try mixing like a lot of lots of whole sesame seeds in there. It's gonna be right, rice crispy treats. Well, try other things and tell us how it is. Give us some ideas. Throw some other things in there with it. I'm always like experimenting for Angela, and she has no idea that in the freezer right now that's freezing up. There's a chia seed one. Baba. Kind of like the chia moon dash without cacao. Oh my goodness, we've never done that before. So she'll be able. It's still, and you can put different flavors in. Like um, just yesterday we found this old cherry flavored one that we put in the freezer and we just lost it. Um, that was so good. Like with the cherry flavor extract from the medicine flower, and then we do like orange ones and maca and <coughs> vanilla, blueberry. Uh, Oopsie. <laughs> so you can put any kind of flavor in there. Um. Um, woo -dee 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 -dee. Just eat it straight from the jar, that's what I do. <laughs> My baby girl. Mm. Okay, everybody. Spirulina.
who puts spirulina in there sometimes. So really good. Oh, and shilaji. And different, like ashwagandha and stuff. Like stuff that doesn't taste so good, but you'd like to get the nutrients. You can throw it in the window. And the flavor gets totally marked when you get the nutrients. She's so tall. We just wait. We just did her height. She's like three feet. <laughs> what? She's over two feet. She seems very tall. Yeah. She's going to be a big one. And uh, who do we got here? That's Raya Berry Monarch, I believe. Is it there? Oh, I'm so funny. Uh, and Matt Monarch. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. At the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.